Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Yes, um, boy, interesting times. Do you think it's been interesting so far? Just wait. Just wait. It's going to get a lot more interesting. This is the storming of the Bastille. This is the French Revolution. The French Revolution, by the way, started in 1789, finished in 1799. Okay, so why are we talking about that? Because what we have right now is Pluto going into Aquarius. And yes, the dawn of global consciousness. Um, in reality, what we were going to do right now was a Patreon exclusive. But Patreon apparently is down. Just when we we're going to do a pa Patreon exclusive because Cindy got information um, coming through uh, just like an hour ago from the Galactic Federation. And so this will kind of touch on what's coming, but we'll have more details for you tomorrow, hopefully, if, as long as Patreon's back up. So Pluto is back in Aquarius after 225 years. Now, the last time it was in Aquarius was 1778, right? 1776, American Revolution. Uh, 1778, it went into Aquarius. As you know, the effects of these conjunctions they start to be felt before it happens and they last after it happens as well. It ended in 1798. So as we can see, when we look to the French Revolution, 1789, 1799, this falls in that time period. And and this is what we are looking at. But what's different this time is we're also, uh, we're transitioning a Yuga. We're, we're leaving the Kali Yuga. We're having a consciousness awakening, a global consciousness awakening. And Pluto, just in case you don't know, again, it's the planet of destruction, death, and rebirth. And it's moving on from Capricorn, entering the intelligent airy sign of Aquarius. Well, we could definitely use more intelligence in this world. That is for sure. You know, this one was something I've, I've been a little bit distracted studying some other things and I didn't realize that this happened, but it falls in line with everything else that came in today from the Galactics and uh, from some other beings too. So we're going to do a video on that tomorrow on Patreon, providing Patreon comes up. It was just the irony of the timing. We were going to go through it on Patreon and then nope, can't log in. So hopefully everything will be okay tomorrow and we can get the information up. But yeah, this is something that is definitely not easy on humans. And just keep in mind, as above, so below, this is death and rebirth. Um, it's just something that is not as bad as it might feel. Well, it is massive change sweeping massive change we could feel it i i think right now it almost feels like the whole world is a little punch truck um is kind of like it's like a fighter that's taking a blow and then is like trying to shake it off and brace himself for whatever comes next mm -hmm. well i i think so you know it's about shaking it off and <laughs> and and just you know getting up you know, take a shower restart the day do whatever it takes to pull yourself up and out of that delirium because you know you don't want to get stuck there and i got to tell you guys now is a really really difficult time for star seeds because we're also dealing with the sun the sun is going down there's less sun creates a lot of people having that sad syndrome um seasonal affective disorder get yourself some happy lights get out in the sun deliberately take your vitamin d drink your water you know hygiene take your bath take your shower and put on clean clothes and that's going to help snap you up and out of it i mean even if you just do a little thing like brush your hair brush your teeth i'm serious a little bit of self-love can go a long way yes absolutely um now when we talk about astrology we are almost always talking about vedic astrology vedic astrology doesn't include pluto uranus and neptune no they normally do not but they are starting to integrate so i look at this as something that is integrated and when you're dealing with western and vedic you know i don't like to split hairs because i've seen enough charts that the information blends plenty it does it's just uh, a little shifting when we're talking about uh vedic astrology 
But we're talking about 20 years, and that's how long this is going to be in that sign. So we have like two decades of really massive changes coming. I think, again, the tendency is to always view things as imminent uh, oh, it's happening right now. Well, there are things that are happening right now, and there's a lot of things that are very, very concerning. But the change, while it might seem like things are changing so fast, in, in most cases, it is going to take a while. And this also coincides with what you got, I don't know, it was a while ago, they told you, uh, the Galactics told you that we're looking at 11 to 15 years of, of this type of awakening in which you will see the current way of doing things slowly just kind of disintegrate and become a thing of the past. And we, we all have to kind of look into this and, and ask ourselves, well, what, what, what's my part in it? Because we're all going to make changes. It's going to be us. It's going to be our towns, our homes, our cities, our schools, everything is going to be changing in a new way. So what, you know, what positive change are you, now's the time you, you can really step in and add positive change to this whole situation. And maybe just sitting down and having some thought and manifesting, okay, what kind of positive change do I want to add and where? Because we have the ability to focus our energy. Absolutely. And I think that's part of what's going to really be sinking into people's minds is the fact that we don't have to accept any paradigms. We can resist. We could be very vocal about that. And, you know, as much as there, uh, there are certain powers that want to keep um, certain things from getting out, it's they're not going to be able to. They just can't. It's as much as they try, they're not going to be able to stop this. They really are not going to be able to stop this. So it's inevitable. It is. It is. And we have more control than we think. And I really want people to dig in and understand that, that we're in the driver's seat now. Now is a time we can make a whole lot of positive change. Yes, absolutely. So what we do have, too, is we do have a lot of friends out there uh, that are not necessarily from Earth that are absolutely rooting and cheering us on and helping in whatever way they can. So when you do your prayers, your mantras, your meditations, you put that out there. Ask for help from the benevolent beings of the universe. It certainly couldn't hurt. No, definitely not. And as always, you are welcome to come and join us on Patreon. Exclusives up there every single week. And you could join for as little as a dollar a month. Or when you pay for a year in advance, it comes down to $10.80 for the entire year. About $0.90. Cents, uh, less than one single item on a dollar menu, which is <laughs> it's, it's, it's going to be a lot more healthier than one item on the dollar menu. <laughs> yes, it's going to take you a long way, we promise. As always, guys, much love. Thanks for your support. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.